This video and hundreds more like it, available on freephotoshopvideotutorials.com. In this video, we're going to learn how to simulate the effect of brush pressure being used in a tablet. So we're going to apply that on shapes. So now we're going to take this a little step beyond because we're going to apply the look of a brush pressure that you'd get from a tablet on a shape that you can't, unless your master draws, man, you can't, you know, you're really good at drawing, you can't really get the exact shape that you can get and you can download a whole bunch of shapes and still have that effect that it was drawn with the brush. So this is kind of taking a step beyond because even people with a tablet normally can't do this. So with shapes, first of all, what we need to do is make sure that we are uh, using uh, the correct settings. So make sure that we are on a brush tool, go to Window and Brushes, and make sure that we are on Shape Dynamics is turned on, and we have on Control here, we have Pen Pressure selected. So it looks your stroke looks like this. Then you want to go into brush tip shape and select your brush. I tend to favor one of these uh, brushes here, this little splattery looking one, because it gives sort of like a nice painterly effect to it. So you want to select a different uh, brush uh, size. I'm going to select here 24. This works really well for this. And now what we can do here is uh, go into a custom shape tool, which is right underneath the rectangle tool here. And we want to make sure that we are using here the paths, right? We're not here on shape layers. We're using paths. And now we can select from different shapes. Now these are the ones that come normally with Photoshop. And there are different ones that you can use here. You can add different shapes as well. There are a couple of different ones that comes with it. And I'm just going to show you something here that you can do, for example, with this one here, with this shape here, right? So we're going to draw this shape, like so. And now we're going to go uh, into our layers, create a new uh, layer here so that we can add our, you know, the drawing of it. Make sure that we are on a white brush here, the white color. Go into paths. And now we see that we have our path here because when we are using a custom shape and we are on paths here, all we're doing is creating the, the path of the shape. So now what we do is just right click on the work path, stroke path, make sure it's brush and simulated pressure. Click OK and unview that. And you can see that you get some really nice, cool effect by using that, uh, which would then simulate that effect of the brush pressure, but you're using shapes. So this is kind of cool. You can use different shapes. For example, we can use something like this. Uh, let's draw something new here, like so. Create a new layer, go into paths, stroke path, and there we are. Now we can go in and, for example, Control and T to free transform. And then we can transform this here, for example, like so. And it just kind of, you know, it looks really cool being able to actually do all these shapes with all this uh, brush pressure effect. And of course, you can always go into your effects and put in a, you know, an, an outer glow. We can put in here an inner shadow if you want to make something look a little bit interesting here. We can uh, change the size and the distance of the shadow here to make it a little bit funkier like so, for example, and so forth. So it's just a matter of just playing around with some effects after you've done this, since this is very much a uh, sort of like a special effect type of thing. So we could go into, for example, Inner Glow, change this to Multiply, and change the color here. Let's change it to like a bright red, for example. Uh, actually, let's put in an orange, so it'll supplement that yellow, and then we can uh, reduce the size here a little bit. And in the Outer Glow, increase the size so it's just a matter of just playing around with uh, these things and uh, just getting a hang for uh, what it is that you're after. But essentially, you're just going to start making all these cool-looking effects with the pen pressure. If you enjoyed this video, show your support by subscribing, rating, and adding it to favorites. Leave comments on our website, and we'll create even more videos that interest you.